Okay, can I have your resume, please? Okay, Uday. Yes. All right, Uday. Can you just give a little bit of a self introduction? Sure, sir. Thank you for letting me introduce myself. I'm Uday Kumar Kumsada. I'm an aeronautical engineering graduate from Satyabama University, Chennai. I was passed out in 2022. My technical skills include Kozawa, manual testing, HTML, CSS, and SQL. And I also uh, can uh, perform structural analysis using Fusion 360 design software. I am also trained in design softwares like AutoCAD and CAD MP5. Okay, that's good. So you have like totally non it background, right? So I am interested in Java. Uh, actually, I thought of going into core, but uh, I see a lot of shift towards IT, and I see a lot of uh, growth in the IT field. So why not? Okay, that's a good idea. Okay. All right. So let's start some technical things on Java. Okay. What is meant by garbage collection? Garbage collection is the process of freeing up memory space by deleting the objects that are no more used by the Java program. Okay, but why does JVM do? What is the use? To free up the memory. Very good. Okay. And uh, what is the main difference between heap memory and stack memory? Heap memory. Heap memory. It stores the objects and class variables, but as uh, um, stack memory stores the variable values. Uh, heap memory is uh, larger compared to stack memory, and the processing time of heap memory is uh, more compared to stack memory. Mm, heap memory contains string pool where you will have string, uh, string values. Um, and, uh, How data is stored in heap memory, how it is stored in stack, in which order? That uh, heap memory stores objects, sir, and uh, stack memory stores the variables, sir. Uh, also, uh, the data will be immediately deleted uh, in the stack memory, sir, but in the heap memory, until complete the, until the complete program is uh, executed, uh, the objects should be stored, sir. Okay. When objects will be deleted in stack? In stack, once uh, once the particular method uses that variable, uh, after the method execution, it will be deleted. Okay. So when objects will be deleted in here? Uh, after the complete execution of the program. Entire program. Okay. Good. So like how these objects will be stored in here? Which order? Any before, before anything like that? Which order? In heap or stack. Objects in heap. Okay, no problem. Alright. So tell me in an interface, what type of methods are allowed? Actually, uh, interface allows abstract methods, but in the recent uh, Java 8 update, we, we can also write uh, static and default methods. Okay. And the static default are they abstract, non abstract? Non abstract. Non abstract. Very good. So, what is functional interface? Functional interface is a kind of interface which have, which have single abstract method. Alright, what is lambda expression? Lambda expression is used to give the definition to that functional interface. Okay, that's good. Okay. So, can you tell the difference between list and set? In list, you can have duplicate values. Set does not allow duplicate values. Mm. Uh, list can have many number of null values, set can have only one, one null value. Mm. And uh, okay, which collections will um, store the data in any order, ascending or descending? Which are ordered list, or which are ordered collection? Ordered, uh, tree set, uh, yeah, tree set and tree map. Okay. So then what's the difference between hash set and tree set? Hash set does not follow any order, sir, but uh, tree set will follow order, as any order. All right, good. So what's the difference between stack and queue? Sir? Stack and queue. Stack, uh, stack, uh, stack follows last in first out, and queue follows first in first out order. What's the meaning of that? The 
values which are added first will be removed first in um, in queue and the values which are added uh, last will be removed first in the stack. Okay. Okay. So can you tell the difference between iterator and enumeration? Iterator can fetch the data from all the uh, interfaces in the collection framework, but uh, enumeration uh, can fetch the data from vector. All right, very good. Okay. So tell me the difference between collection and collections. Collection is a framework, whereas collections is a class. Collection has uh, collection framework has interfaces um, which are uh, set, list, and map and queue. Uh, and whereas uh, the collection class we, we, we have uh, uh, sort method um, uh, we will be having methods to perform uh, operations so those methods are they static or non static non static yes static methods no static static we will be creating an object, right, sir? We will be creating an object and then uh, with that we will be calling the methods. No, so right. Object dot. Oh, no. For those methods, we don't have to create any objects. No, directly we can call the class. <coughs> Collections. Okay. Okay, so. <coughs> so there is one um, array. So we have to convert that array into array list. Okay. So what classes and what methods we can use? For converting an array to array list, array list we use this list. Um, and for converting array to uh, array list to array, we have to use two array methods. Right. And what is hash code? Hash code. Hash code for every object there will be certain hash code, sir. Um, we, we, we should it's a particular method. So it returns the hash code of that particular object. Oh, Alright. Okay, very good to them. So, so I'm really pleased with you. So the way you answered was very perfect. So even though you're from non-IT, so your preparation is very nice. So keep it all the best. So we're looking forward to meet you.